Good morning, students. Welcome to your English class. My name is Carlos Silva and I'm your English teacher. This is day number eight of unit five. Are you ready to learn English? Let's begin. Day number eight, story hand. Practice the elements in a story. El día de hoy continuaremos practicando los elementos dentro de un cuento. Vamos a practicarlos con un cuento diferente. Now, elements in a story. Let's review and remember the elements in a story. Vamos a repasar los elementos dentro de un cuento. First, we have the characters. Remember that the characters can be people or animals. In this case, in this story, we have animals as characters. Recuerda que los personajes pueden ser personas o animales. En este cuento, nuestros personajes son animales. Setting, remember that the setting is the place where the story takes place. Escenarios. Los escenarios son los lugares y el tiempo donde se desarrolla la historia. And the plot. Is the events in the story. Son los eventos que suceden dentro del cuento. Inicio, desarrollo y desenlace. Very well. Now, today we are going to work with the story of the three little pigs. Before we go to the story, let's practice some vocabulary from this story. Now, listen and repeat. Hey. Hey. Sticks, sticks, bricks, bricks, chimney, chimney. Estas son palabras que aparecen en nuestro cuento. Es importante que las practiquemos antes de escuchar el cuento. Here we have some more words. Listen and repeat. Fall. Fall. Esta palabra significa caerse. Si te das cuenta, en nuestra imagen, la casa se cayó. Fall. Huff and puff. Please repeat. Huff and puff. Esto significa agarrar aire. Si te das cuenta, el lobo está agarrando aire. Blow. Blow. Lit on fire. Lit on fire. Prender fuego, en este caso, a la madera. Lit on fire. Very well. Now let's practice. Practice the vocabulary and then watch the video of the three little pigs. Vamos a practicar el vocabulario que te acabo de presentar. Y después quiero que veas el, eh, la canción del cuento de los tres cerditos. Now choose the correct word. Look at the pictures and choose the correct word. What is the correct word? Hey. Sticks, bricks. Correct. Sticks. This is the correct word. Very well. Let's continue. What's the correct word? Huff and puff. Lit on fire. Fall. Correct. This is the correct word. What is the correct word? Blow, chimney, bricks. Correct. Blow is the correct word. What is the correct word? Hay, sticks, bricks. 
Very well. Bricks is the correct word. What is the correct word? Huff and puff. Fall. Lit on fire. Well done. Huff and puff. What is the correct word? Hay, sticks, bricks. Well done. What is the correct word? Fall, lit on fire, blow. Fall, correct. What is the correct word? Hay, chimney, bricks. Very well, chimney is the correct word. Excellent job. I hope you enjoyed this activity. Now I'm going to explain to you what you have to do. Espero hayas disfrutado esta actividad. Ahora voy a explicarte lo que tienes que hacer. Activity number three. Elements in a story. Paste the story pieces on the correct finger. En esta actividad tenemos cuatro imágenes en la parte eh, de abajo de la hoja. Vas a colocar la imagen en el dedo correcto. Si te das cuenta, en cada dedo tenemos un nombre. Tenemos characters, setting, beginning, middle, and end. Esta actividad la vas a realizar después de haber eh, visto el video de los tres cerditos que te voy a dejar aquí debajo. Te voy a dejar debajo el link para que puedas acceder desde aquí. ¿Mm? And that's all for today. Thank you for... Uh, coming to today's class. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.